Are you considering getting a Boston Terrier, a true American gentleman, to live with you as your next dog? Learn more about this amazing small dog breed's temperament, history, and other characteristics to determine if it would be the ideal fit for your family. It's easy to recognize the Native American dog breed known as the Boston Terrier. He is popular for being a lot of fun and having excellent manners. He is lively, extremely intelligent, and compact. He has earned the moniker American Gentleman thanks to his excellent manners and suit-like coat. Boston Terriers are well-balanced dogs with a fun side thanks to his terrier genes, who are always ready to cuddle and chill. If you're looking for a smaller dog breed, you might have trouble finding a better family pet. Nevertheless, they occasionally display independence, which makes training them a little more challenging than with other breeds. He is a fantastic choice for families and their homes of all sizes and shapes because of his small stature and vivacious personality. Therefore, you're in the right place if you've been impressed by the Boston and want to learn more about this handsome man. Have you read Boston Terrier 101 yet? So let's go! History Unbelievably, the breed originally evolved from fighting dogs. In Liverpool, England, a city in the United Kingdom, a crossbreed was created specifically for pit fighting and ratting competitions. A bulldog and the now extinct English Terrier had a muscular pup in the 1860s they named Judge. Judge was sold to an American who brought him back to Boston and then sold him to Robert Hooper. The Boston breed is sometimes referred to as Hooper's Judge for this reason. A smaller, white female resembling a Boston Terrier, Mr. Hooper bred the powerful judge with. Boston's changed over a period of 20 years, getting cuter and less aggressive. The Boston Terrier Club of America was founded in 1891, and the rest is history, as they say. The breed was created in Boston, and he is one of 10 dog species to bear the Made in America label. Boston Terriers as a breed fluctuate between the top 20 and top 30 breeds in America. He is among the most well-liked dogs in his native Boston, as you might expect. The most decorated war canine, Sergeant Stubby, was a famous Boston. And famous people like Robin Williams, Helen Keller, and Joan Rivers were seduced by the Boston Terrier. Temperament This breed gets along well with children and families. There is no need to look any further if you're looking for a family dog that can play, cuddle, and is excellent company for young children. All of this and more describe this breed. He fits in with most family homes because of his many abilities. He's a great addition to families with kids because of his sensible nature. Despite being a small dog, he has sturdy play qualities thanks to his terrier genes. He will contribute to the kids' entertainment, allowing you some well-deserved downtime. He adores being a member of the family group and doesn't think of himself as the family pet, but rather as an equal member. He enjoys being the center of attention, though not in a domineering way. This breed craves constant closeness to their humans and enjoys cuddling. He also gets along well with strangers and adores the spotlight. He is a fantastic watchdog, but his friendliness makes him a terrible guard dog. He'll do a much better job of announcing everyone's arrival than any alarm bell you've ever had, so you can depend on that. Although they were developed from terrier and pit fighting ancestors, Boston Terriers have a much lower prey drive than other terrier breeds. He is therefore perfect for multi-pit households that also have cats and rodents. You can depend on him to get along with other dogs as long as he is socialized properly. He is, in general, a cheerful dog. Being left alone for too long is his only complaint. He therefore requires a family that can spend the majority of the day at home. He can experience anxiety and doesn't like to spend the entire day by himself. He'll chew everything in sight as his destructive bulldog genes kick in. Dimension and Aesthetics this breed comes in a variety of sizes and looks. Boston Terriers are small dogs that belong to the non-sporting breed category. He is not a heavyweight boxer like his ancestors because he weighs only 25 pounds for a large male. Some people would classify small females, who can weigh as little as 12 pounds, as toy dogs. These dogs are light and lean, and when you consider that they range in height from 15 to 17 inches, 
They should never appear gangly or scrawny, according to the breed standard. They were bred to appear strong and determined. His naturally dark tail and the tuxedo marking on his chest are two of the Boston Terrier's most distinguishing characteristics. Both are critical in order to distinguish him from other breeds with which he is frequently confused, such as the French Bulldog. His short, low-set tail is a natural trait. He carries his head with pride and has a thick neck. Overall, he is a pup of a proportionate size. This puppy has brachycephalic syndrome, which is a condition common to dogs. Or, more commonly, as having a flat face. His face is wrinkled, and his muzzle is very short. The Boston also has large, bud-like eyes that draw attention to themselves. His endearing wide grin only serves to emphasize his sly demeanor. Layers and Colors The coat color of this puppy can vary greatly. Black, brindle, and seal are the only available coat colors for Boston Terriers. They are all finished with the white tuxedo markings. The Boston breed standard states that brindle is the preferred color. Although the color seal appears to be solid black, and some lighting it has a warm red tone. If breeders are attempting to sell you another colored Boston, it is likely some sort of Boston mix. Furthermore, you can be certain that they are a disreputable breeder. The minimum requirements for the tuxedo markings are a white muzzle band, a white forechest, and a white blaze between the eyes. He is unable to compete without these in the conformation show ring. A white collar and white legs are additional desired markings. His hind legs should be white below the hocks, with either all or part of his front legs being white. The American Gentleman moniker is a result of his tuxedo. His short, smooth, and finely textured double-layered coat has two layers. Throughout the year, he sheds moderately, and only a little bit more during the shedding seasons. Many people are drawn to his fine hair and little shedding. Not that his grooming regimen is straightforward, we'll talk about that later. His brown eyes will always be brown. Requirements for exercise this breed requires between 30 and 45 minutes of daily outdoor activity. Because Boston Terriers are lively and active for their size, he is not your typical small dog. Despite the fact that he enjoys cuddling, don't anticipate him to do nothing all day. He should work out for 30 to 45 minutes. While some of this can be done indoors, the majority of it must be done outside while walking and sniffing. You need to keep an eye on him when he exercises in the summer. Because of his stooped posture, he has to work harder to breathe and oxygenate his body. During more strenuous exercise, Boston Terriers will require a break. It's best to avoid exercising him during the day in the summer. The best times to exercise him are in the cooler mornings and evenings. His curious and intelligent terrier genes require stimulation all day long. Playing with him is a great way to occupy him as he enjoys being the center of attention. He will undoubtedly enjoy it if you use ropes, tug-of-war toys, and fetching balls. Invest in chew toys and treat dispensing puzzle toys for times when you can't play for an extended period of time. Conditions of life This breed adapts well to a wide range of residential settings. Because of his small size, he fits in any type of house. He is capable of residing anywhere, whether it be a modest apartment or a spacious country house. One of the many factors contributing to his popularity is his versatility. Although he would love to have one, he doesn't need a yard. Please make sure the outdoor area is safe if he is fortunate enough to have access to it. If not restrained, this curious man might leave to wander off by himself. The majority of Boston Terriers are fairly laid back, so they won't interfere with your style in small living spaces. Around the house, they are a bit slothful and like to take long naps on the couch. As previously stated, ensure that your Boston is properly exercised. You will probably have found a very laid back canine companion if your puppy receives the proper exercise. Training This breed responds well to training and is typically eager to please. The Boston Terrier is a smart, generally obedient dog. He does, however, possess a stubborn streak that was probably passed down from his bulldog ancestors. He is suitable for new dog owners, but don't count on him to be completely submissive. 
However, because of his playful nature, he will always be up for the challenge of picking up new skills if training is made enjoyable. Positive reinforcement training is the most effective method for training them. Essentially, this means that his training should be positive and that he should be rewarded for good behavior. Boston Terriers love receiving toys and tasty treats. Use a harness made for smaller sized dogs and start leash training your Boston early to accommodate their special frame. Like all dogs, Boston Terriers need to be socialized from an early age. If you teach your dog how to be balanced, he will become one. With his littermates and parents, socialization will start. He will need to be exposed to the environments and sounds that he will experience with you as you continue to mix him with other dogs. Like using the vacuum cleaner, walking on a noisy sidewalk, or having guests over. Because the Boston detests being left alone for extended periods of time, we suggest crate training him. Crates may turn off some owners, but veterinarians and other dog experts around the world strongly advise them. In addition to giving him his own space to spend time alone away from kids and other animals, it also helps him feel less anxious when he is left alone. Additionally, it means that you can relax knowing that his former bulldog jaws won't be destroying your prized shoes or favorite rug. Health This breed may be predisposed to certain health issues. An average lifespan of 11 to 13 years can be anticipated for a generally healthy dog. The best way to lengthen his years is to keep him in shape and feed him the highest quality food you can afford. Along with working with breeders who vet their dogs, you should stay on top of his routine medical exams. There are some health conditions that the Boston breed is more prone to than others. The health issues that the breed is most likely to encounter are listed below. Eye conditions, Bostons are prone to a wide range of eye issues. Both juvenile and adult cataracts are the most common. Concerns include cherry eye and corneal ulcers. He is also more prone to general eye injuries because of his prominent bulging eyes. Deafness, deafness is prevalent in the gene pool of Bostons. Prior to adoption, all reputable breeders bear test their puppies for deafness. More Bostons with heads that are more than one third white are more likely to produce deaf offspring. Allergies, the Boston, like many other terriers, is more susceptible to developing allergies. Food allergies or contact allergies to pollen or grass are two examples of this. Though they have an impact on his day-to-day -day activities, they are treatable with better dietary choices and medications. Brachycephalic syndrome, Bostons have flat faces and this compressed anatomy can lead to a number of health issues. They have elongated throats and airways due to the flat noses and short muzzles. This explains why they snuffle all the time. Additionally, it explains the need for extra caution while exercising. They are also more susceptible to heat stroke because they have a harder time controlling their body temperature. Nutrition. This breed requires a lot of nutrition, so be careful about what you feed it. No matter how much he tries to convince you otherwise, the Boston Terrier is a small dog and only requires a small amount of food. He will require roughly one cup of food each day. Of course, a 12-pound Boston will require less food than a 25-pound Boston. Reading the instructions on the package is crucial for this reason. He is a tiny pup with an equally tiny mouth. Feeding him a kibble made for small-sized dogs will ensure that he can eat comfortably. Nutritional needs are also catered for in kibble with specific sizes. As he ages, so will his nutritional requirements, so it's critical that you understand the Boston's various life stages and which nutrients and dog foods are best suited for each. The foundation for a healthy lifestyle is laid during puppyhood, which is arguably the most crucial stage. A well-balanced diet is the secret to good nutrition. All of this is provided by high-quality kibbles, high-quality meats, carbohydrates, fiber, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. The Boston is notorious for having flatulence. Foods with a higher fiber content, probiotics added, and yucca extract are therefore his best bet if you discover that he is a top trumper. You must watch how many treats you give him because these dogs can be gluttons. Change his kibble to one with fewer calories and cut back on the number of treats he receives if you notice that he is gaining more weight than is healthy. 
he will experience less flatulence if you steer clear of fatty human foods. Carrots and bell peppers are two excellent examples of nutritious treats. Grooming. For the health of your skin and coat, a regular grooming routine is crucial. A gentleman who takes pride in appearance, the Boston Terrier is a relatively tidy breed. He only needs to be bathed once every 8 to 12 weeks, any more frequently, and you run the risk of damaging his natural coat oils. Because of his sensitivities, you should only use a mild shampoo on your Boston. A popular choice for the Boston area is shampoo made with natural ingredients like oatmeal. He only needs to be brushed once a week to keep up with his shedding because his double coat is short and fine. Thankfully, he sheds very little all year long as well. A soft bristle brush that will gently remove dirt and dead hair is the ideal brush for the Boston. Don't get overly excited, though, because he makes up for his messy hair with wrinkles that require extra care and attention. Sorry. His flat muzzle is surrounded by wrinkled skin. His wrinkles require daily maintenance because they serve as a haven for bacterial infections. Use a clean, damp cloth to wipe in between the folds of the skin, and then wipe again with a dry cloth to remove the moisture. If you don't have wrinkles, you probably won't need to do this daily. But for those who are, dermatitis of the skin folds must be avoided. As he exercises and moves quickly, his nails should naturally deteriorate. You must trim them, though, if you hear them tapping on the floor as he moves around. To prevent periodontal diseases, it will be necessary to brush his small mouth and compact teeth several times per week with a special canine toothpaste. Check his eyes frequently for redness, excessive discharge, and cosmetic changes. Fortunately, your Boston is sure to enjoy the grooming time. Breeders and Puppy Prices A puppy from a reputable breeder should cost at least $1,000. Popular dog breeds include the Boston Terrier. This is both fantastic and unfortunate news. The good news is that it will lead to an abundance of excellent breeders. Unfortunately, there are also dishonest breeders who have jumped on the bandwagon in an effort to profit from it. Your sleuthing abilities will be put to use in this situation. You must separate the good from the bad and pick the best breeder. Speak to other Boston enthusiasts who share your interests to see if they can give you a recommendation for a reputable breeder, but always do your own due diligence. Alternatively, look for people online who have a lot of experience and credible websites. Work only with people who are open to having you meet them and their puppies before any money is exchanged. A Boston puppy can be purchased from a reputable breeder for up to $1,000. This is a fantastic place to start because the AKC lists registered Boston Terrier breeders. A bad breeder won't let you see the puppies in their homes and will probably list them on classified websites. Instead, they will confront you in public spaces like parking lots and demand money from you. Additionally, they don't care much about the puppy's health and frequently breed sick dogs, producing sick dogs. Please steer clear of puppy mills and bad breeders at all costs. You must factor in all associated expenses when planning your Boston budget. His first vaccinations, to furnishing your home and buying furniture like beds, bowls, and crates. His ongoing expenses, such as those for food and insurance, must also be taken into consideration. A puppy isn't just for the holidays, and the Boston is good for 11 to 13. For help choosing the ideal name for your new Boston Terrier, consult our guide. Refuges and Rescue Prior to visiting a breeder, think about adopting an animal in need. Another choice if you want a Boston but aren't prepared for the added responsibilities that come with puppies is to rescue. Additionally, the initial cost of rescuing is less than that of purchasing a puppy. Go to your neighborhood rescue shelters and talk to the staff members who can guide you through the adoption process. Don't worry if finding a Boston at your neighborhood shelter is difficult. There are many rescue groups that focus their efforts on the Boston breed. The Boston Terrier Society provides a comprehensive list of all state-by-state -state Boston Terrier rescue organizations as well as a wealth of additional helpful data. This is a fantastic starting point for your Boston rescue mission. There are many Boston Terrier crossbreeds available if you're interested in adopting a mixed breed. As domestic pets. 
the versatile and jovial Boston Terrier. This breed is tolerant and compatible with the majority of families. He enjoys both playing and lounging on the couch with his family. He needs to exercise for 30 to 45 minutes each day to stay healthy and content. They detest being left alone for extended periods of time. Although he makes a terrible guard dog, he is friendly with both visitors and complete strangers. He is sometimes a very vocal dog. If socialized properly as a puppy, the Boston can live with any other household pets. He is intelligent and trainable, making him a great choice for new dog owners. Bostons make good house pets or for any other kind of living arrangement. He is simple to look after, just pay extra attention to his concerns with his wrinkles and flat face. Final Remarks The Boston is the town's most fashionable canine. He will make everyone smile because he is handsome, intelligent, and cheeky-lipped. Including cat lovers. He is appropriate for all families and homes, from the young ones to grandma. You'll get along like a house on fire as long as you can meet his needs, which are listed in this guide. His dislike of being left alone is the only thing that sets him apart from some other dogs. Therefore, if you can, please adapt your lifestyle to spending most of your time at home. Or at the very least bring him along.